Welcome to another episode of Let's Chat With. The CrossFit competition in Madison, Wisconsin recently happened from August 1st to the 6th. Joining me now is 2023's CrossFit Games third fittest woman on earth, Ariel Lowen. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. I'm enjoying some much needed rest after the games. Has the phrase Ariel Lowen third fittest woman on earth sunk in yet? No. It'll randomly sink in at times and then I'll get a little bit overwhelmed with emotion, but I don't think it's really sunken in yet because my life has very much gone back to normal. What was it like when they announced your name for third place? It was very special. I would say going into the final event, I had a pretty good idea that I would stand on the podium and that moment before was very special. When they called it, I kind of already knew they just confirmed it. So it was definitely more special backstage. What are your what were your thoughts and expectations on the first day of competition? Thoughts were that it was similar to games I had done in the past. I feel like they usually like to start with a bike event and then event two will sometimes have the pig in it. So it was a little bit of deja vu, but the events themselves, I did great in them performance wise. So it was a good start to the weekend. What was your favorite event? Favorite event, as silly as it is, I really enjoyed the running one, the 5k, just because I surprised my expectations of myself. And then I also really enjoyed the muscle up, throw the sandbag over the log event, because it was just really cool how they had it set up on the floor, throw the bag over, get over the log, you could see the progression take place. And it felt very much like a practical thing and in, in life once you might have to get over a log if it's in your way so it was fun what was your least favorite event might have been the sandbag and ski one just because it, it was difficult to squat with the sandbag I like doing things I'm good at that one was a little bit hard backstage and on the floor with everything you saw and heard at the games what was your favorite moment at the competition outside of what you did mm. I enjoyed watching Roman when he had to jump on one foot backstage it was very emotional that was a pretty cool moment to witness what was it like seeing all the competitors again it was awesome i have quite a few friends so it was fun to see old friends and then i actually made pretty good friends with laura horvat this season so it was a lot of fun to get to know someone new and she comes off very aggressive and angry on camera but she was so nice backstage it was it was a cool refreshing moment to see her personality come out also you get to be called fittest mom on earth how does that feel it's a funny title <laughs> because mom in itself comes with a lot of responsibilities it's funny to say okay now you're not just a mom now you're a fit mom <laughs> It's a funny title, but I just enjoy being mom, period. So it's cool to have the little asterisk next to it of fittest. Do you think they should have fittest dad? I think it would be neat to see who that is. I think it's Velner, right? But I do think a mom's role and a dad's role are drastically different. But it's funny they never they never throw around that title at all. There's a video making the rounds on social media. It is of you practicing a headstand at the games while your daughter watches. Once the yeah. headstand is completed, she starts cheering out loud. What does that mean to you? I think it's really special. So that exact video was taken on a day when our internet broke. So usually Blakely's inside playing with toys or something that involves the internet. So she was forced to come outside and I had 10 minutes left. So she just sat there and it was sweet to see the innocence of a child. So she ran inside, grabbed all of her stuffed animals, lined them up. And then for her fun is just sitting there cheering for me. So it was neat that she did it on her own because she loves me, not because I told her cheer for mom. It was just really, it was really sweet to see. Another video of a female competitor walking over to you and asking you why you're crying. You explained that you're happy to have hit particular numbers in a weightlifting event. Can you elaborate mm -hmm. on this? Yeah, that event, if you saw it, we had four attempts, two of them for snatch, two of them for clean and jerk. And we would sit there and wait for almost four minutes. And then we would get one attempt in a 20 second window. And then we'd sit there and wait for four minutes, get another attempt in a 20 second window. So that event was extremely stressful for me. And you, as an athlete, I sat there for four minutes and your brain is just thinking and turning and then you hit your numbers. So I was just so happy and thankful to have in those 20 second windows hit exactly what I wanted to hit. I didn't have any misses. And I just think coming off of the floor, I was extremely relieved, extremely thankful. And that was a moment when I realized if any event was going to go horribly wrong, it was going to be that one. And it didn't. So I had a small chance of still holding on to the podium spot. There was a slight controversy during the games. Fans watching the games at home on the YouTube stream said they did not like the camera angles during the first days of competition because they could not see the athletes. The organizers held a press conference saying that they 
last few days will be on ESPN. They did apologize for how the first days were shown. What are your thoughts on this? I heard it was for the age groups and masters from what yes. I heard. Yeah. So it's unfortunate. They work extremely hard and their families go out there and they have to pay to get to the games. It's unfortunate that that happened and those at home couldn't watch. I didn't personally hear what they said at the press conference. I hope they fixed the issue, but I know that was a pretty big issue. Now that the games are over, what are your plans for the next little while? I'm hoping to be healthy and compete at the Rogue Invitational in October. And then other than that, I'm just focusing on resting and making sure my body's healthy going into next season. You think you'll be attending the 2024 games? I hope so. We don't know where they are yet, but I hope to be there. <laughs> if you do attend the 2024 competition, an interesting situation may occur. You would have to defend your title of fittest mom on earth against Tia Ter Claire Toomey, who recently became a mother if she participates. How do you feel about that? I think it'd be fun. It'd be, of course, everybody wants to win the games, but there's an extra little title throw in there for fun. I would say Tia is extremely fit, so I wouldn't be mad if she takes it from me, but it's fun to have it for 2023. What is your message, not just for your daughter, but for future generations of girls who want to try CrossFit and compete in the games? I would say if you are passionate about it, do it, but don't put any unrealistic expectations on yourself that will mess with your mental health or anything like that. If you enjoy CrossFit, enjoy it and have fun with it. And if the games happens, that's an awesome bonus. But the ultimate goal is just to be healthy. Every year, the CrossFit organizers release a video about the previous year's competition. How do you feel about being a large part of the women's 2023 story in the video that will be available in 2024? I thought about that. They haven't started filming it yet, but I will be extremely excited to be a part of that. So I absolutely can't wait. I don't know how the filming process happens when they sit down and interview, talk about events, but I'm really excited. And I also thought about, I might be asked to do an open announcement. So if that happens, I would be extremely excited about that as well. Finally, where can people find more information about you? Instagram, Twitter, threads, TikTok, Facebook, website? Definitely Instagram is going to be the best spot. And it's just Ariel Lowen, my name together. Thank you, Ariel, for joining me on this episode of Let's Chat With. Thanks for having me. You're awesome.